shining bright on Bob Walker Stadium. Sets a beautiful stage on a Friday afternoon as Arkansas continues a 12-game homestand. They welcome in the Murray State Racers. The junior on pretty much every award watch list and pretty much on everybody's first round draft board. Vogel hits one high and deep to right field. Going back, this ball is gone. Drew Vogel, second pitch of the ball game, sends it out of here, his second home run of the year. Yeah, pitch that was left up in the zone by Hagen Smith. It's like the one at the carnival where nobody can ever win at because it's always set on the same thing. Smith gets. Lifts this towards right center. Playable for Wilmsmeyer. Makes the catch and the side retired, but one big swing in the top of the first. Yeah. Got him swinging. Came inside and it left. Smith sits him down. Second strikeout. Way it's really hard. Hagen Smith strikes out the side. Four. McLaughlin will take his free pass. Ground ball straight back through. Malloy says you can line up wherever you want to. One, two, a little slow hopper. This could be trouble. Charging in, Garner just eats it. At third base, he can play anywhere. First pitch. To Jones is sliced down into the right field corner. McLaughlin in, Aloy right behind him, and the Razorbacks take the lead here in the second. 14, and that's just something that I know Nate Thompson really wants to work on. Chopped to short, they go to third to cut down the lead runner. Smart play by Drew Vogel, the shortstop, but it's a productive out for Peyton Holt driving in Hudson Polk to make it three to one. Bland works the walk. They like him in that spot. He's kind of a bottom of the order. This year, not one prone to running a ton. As Smith gets the strikeout, that's number five. For Something's the going to be in the outside third. Hagen Smith with strikeout number six and one stranded in scoring position. Good look at it right there. Glaughlin takes his second walk of the ball game. Hard hit. And under the glove of Vogel. Little jam flared into left center. Hawthorne makes the catch. Arkansas gets two on base, but leaves him stranded. This time he comes right at him. Power pitchers loved it because they could really nibble on those corners. How about Hagen Smith loving this strike zone? Third consecutive, one, two, three. Ground ball sees its way through. Throwing to him. This ball is a high towering shot to left center, but playable. Hawthorne makes the catch. Arkansas leaves a runner on third. Howell sat down. That heater. There's the double digit strikeout number. You're up for it. Oh, it, it hits a slider. Got him swinging. Smith strikes out the side for the second time today. In the lead. Here's a bunt laid down by Logan Bland to start. A flip from the glove, not in time. You see McLaughlin, he's giving Smith a nice target to throw to, but he's also not stretching toward the baseball. He just flips straight the from call the first glove. The has been overturned to out. There you go, call overturned. 2-2. Two -two. To short. Aloy fires across, side retired. 1-2-3 for Hagen Smith, and Arkansas still in front. Pops this up to right. 
Hogarth dirt a little bit more. Got him swinging. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the sixth inning. Arkansas is bringing in the senior, Cody Frank. Frank went down with a really unusual injury a season ago, tore his lat muscle, and uh, he is back Fishka, in Oklahoma. Less than 1,000. How about 312? Wow. Fewer than my previous outing. Called strike three, that ball. There's that break you were talking about. It's out the first two. Got him. That's why you wear the elbow guard right there. Got him swinging. Cody Frank picking up right where Hagen Smith left off. To short. Fogel able to get him by a half step. Come to you. This ball is hit well to left center, turning and facing at the track, making the catch Hawthorne. Pretty good charge put into it. Here. But it's this ball's got a tail on it, headed towards the gap, and it'll get down all the way to the fence. Talking, cruising into second with a leadoff double. It's a Look out. Throw's going to come to third and getting the foot on the bag. Nice adjustment by Jared Sprague Lott. He was yeah, a highly touted right hander, Gabe Gackle. He's got a really live arm. He'll sit in that low to mid 90s with a fastball. I think he's hit up to 96. Got him swinging. Well, he put up a valiant fight. So. Called strike three. Gackle. Comes out of the bullpen, gets a couple of strikeouts. Yeah, home, something a home state kid wants to do. Dig smokes this back through. That's the first time that the top third of the Razorback order has been on base today. This bounced through the right side. Stop sign given. No sense in chancing it there with nobody. Hops this to first, stepping on the bag for one, and there's no play after. So, McLaughlin able to produce, and Arkansas ups the lead to 4-1. Malloy, first pitch to the right side. Two away. A run, three innings, just two hits, three strikeouts and a walk. Gets passed here, and coming home, Sprague Lott for the second run of the inning in the country. And he'll take a walk here to start the night. Keep him there, and he's done a good job, though, of adding defense at different positions. But he goes down swinging here. Grounded to first. They'll go to second for one. Relay back. Not in time. Swing and a miss, and there was no contact off the bat. So Howell, heads up play, able to reach first on the drop third strike. Pitch, got him swinging. Gabe Gackle puts an exclamation point on his first career save with his fifth strikeout. With just an absolute dominant pitch pitching performance by Hagen Smith, Cody Frank, and Gabe Gackle closes things out with the high fastball again. Razorbacks only allow one run on two hits to a very good Murray State Racer Ball Club.